This week on Big On Wine, we dive into the realm of low alcohol wines. Mm, not my normal area of competence, I know, but well, one has to move with the times. It's a little Australian number and it's coming right up. Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of uh, Big On Wine, the show which uh, as you may well know by now, brings you news, clues and reviews. Indeed, we try to keep, keep you up to speed with just about everything that's happening in the world of wine. And my wine of the week for this week is from Australia and it's this one here. It goes under the name of uh, Rawson's Retreat Chardonnay and the vintage is 2019. And this wine comes in for a price of uh, just over 10 euro a bottle where I am. And of course, perhaps the distinctive feature of this particular wine is the alcohol content, because this is categorized as a low alcohol wine. The actual alcohol content of this is about 9.5%. All right. Rawson's Retreat um, is produced by a vineyard of the same name and uh, Rawson's Retreat is uh, based in a small place called Nuriotpa, which is in South Australia, about an hour or so by road, 80 kilometres or so northeast of the city of Adelaide. So relatively uh, close to the uh, South Australian coast there. We know from experience that Chardonnay tends to uh, do very well in slightly cooler areas, often relatively close to the sea. All right, another feature of this wine is uh, the uh, residual sugar content, which is 11 grams per litre. So it's just outside the dry category. It's in the kind of off dry, off dry kind of area there. Let's see how I cope with that. Not entirely my cup of tea, but then again, this is a glass of wine and not a cup of tea. So we should be okay. All right, let's take a look at the wine in the glass. And as we can see, it's a nicely produced. It has a very pleasant kind of medium straw gold color to it. And it's so wonderfully clear, looking very nice indeed from a technical point of view. Right. Let's now try the wine in the nose and see what we can find. Does low alcohol mean that some element in particular is lacking uh, or are we, are we in good form here? Here we go. Right. Now, first characteristic, the nose on this wine is pretty abundant. It's um, fruity uh, without being overpowering. It's uh, fairly restrained. I would say. What am I picking up? Well, I uh, would say, if we have to put a name to it, um, dis very distinctive minerality on this wine. And if we're talking fruit, I think maybe, maybe apple is probably the dominant characteristic. And also there's a distinct kind of herbiness to this, to this wine as well. All very good so far. A touch of apple, touch of herbiness and distinct minerality. Fine, let's uh, try it now in the uh, mouth and see what we can find. Here we go, looks very appealing. Okay, now being a devotee of fairly dry wines. Um, the distinctive feature for me here, of course, is the residual sugar content, but I don't mean that in a negative way whatsoever. This has a very nice balance of acid and fruit and sugar. Um, by no means is it too sweet for my taste whatsoever. Um, it's remarkably well-rounded, the taste of this wine. What am I picking up in the mouth? Well, Certainly the apple is still there. But complemented now by something perhaps a little bit more exotic. I would be thinking somewhere in the, 
Is it peach? Is it apricot? No, I would think it would be closer, in fact, to... It reminds me of my childhood, almost like a kind of a bowl of rhubarb, stewed rhubarb of all things. There we go. So a little bit of apple, less of the minerality in the mouth, perhaps. It was stronger in the nose. We've got maybe a touch of peach and a distinct flavour of rhubarb in this wine here. The acidity is quite lively. The overall effect is refreshing, mouth-watering, um, and I think I could even use the adjectives crisp and bright to, to describe this particular wine. So far, so good. Um, what are we going to be enjoying this with? Well, this is a kind of wine which I think would make an excellent aperitif. So it's low alcohol. It has a wonderful, refreshing, mouth-cleaning, crisp, citrusy uh, uh, character to it. Very nice indeed. In terms of food, I think we're looking at fish, primarily cod, coli, pangosius maybe, uh, shellfish, why not? Um, how about in accompaniment with a, a nice lemony, creamy sauce? I don't know, something like that. But certainly it can also be enjoyed very, very easily uh, as an aperitif, as a standalone drink there. Okay, keep the serving temperature down to about the eight or 10 degree mark. Let's bring you the heads up on this one. This is a crisp, vibrant, low alcohol option at a very good price, as I say, just over 10 euro a bottle where I am. Perfect with fish and shellfish, unpretentious, but delivers a lot for the money. Lawson's Retreat, Chardonnay, 2019, four stars out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in and checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little introduction to a low alcohol option, a Chardonnay, Rawson's Retreat, 2019, all the way from South Australia. Bit of a surprise there. Mm, not bad at all. Okay, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. Yeah, give us a like. We do enjoy getting those. Drop a comment down below if you feel that way inclined. Share the video around to your heart's content. And hey, if you haven't already, considered subscribing to the channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. And you can always hit that little bell icon at the same time and you'll be informed as soon as every new video is uploaded. And actually, I'll be back again next week with another great Wine of the Week for you. But uh, until we meet again, this is Tony Mervil signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines and cheers. <laughs>